Hi Pink Stars and welcome back to another video that I have with Evie Pink. Now today I'm going to be doing a tutorial for you guys and we are going to be making some salt dough and I'm really excited to do it. So without further ado, let's get into it. What you need for this lesson? Some salt, a jug for measuring, a chopping board, some plain flour, a mixing bowl and a wooden spoon. Here is the mixing bowl and here is the salt. So now we have um, to use um, the scales. So how we're going to be using the scales is, we turn it on now, but we're gonna put it to zero because it's counting the bulk, so we need to put it to zero. And now we're going to be using 32 grams of salt. So we're gonna be looking here and look for 32. So I'm gonna be pouring it in now, looking carefully. Okay, pouring it in carefully, 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 carefully. Ah, uh, 32. So that is 43. So it's a little bit more than what it asks. So if you accidentally do this, if you accidentally do this, it's perfectly okay. You can just scoop this up and make sure it's a little of what you need. So keep scooping and you can just put it somewhere that you don't need it. So just keep scooping. Thirty six will be okay. Will be an extra salty. But just remember it doesn't matter if it's a little bit salty because you're not eating it, so it's not gonna be like, oh it tastes horrible. It's just like that, and maybe it's just you need a bigger amount because you want to make more salt dough. It's absolutely fine. So now you're going to need to use some flour. And you are going to do now 64 grams. So we're going to put it on zero now. I'm going to use 64 grams of flour. So I'm going to be pouring it in, look for 64, and let's get started on this. So, can you see that perfectly? I think you can. So, 64, remember what we were looking for. Okay, 64, 64. Um, well, that is exact, guys. <laughs> wow, I am like a magician. So, now we have our salt and our flour mixed together. We are going to just kind of mix them together now. Okay, so now we're going to need water. Now the actual recipe is for um, a quarter cup of water, so the exact same as salt, so 32 grams. So it's a quarter of a cup, and I, you might need an adult to help you with this, because my um, my mum um, helped me with this, uh, to measure it out. So that's about a quarter of a cup. You really don't need much water. And we're just gonna be stirring in gradually. So now we are going to be kneading the dough, which is why we are needing our chopping, cutting board, or just the surface to knead on. So I'm just going to be using this for today for using it. It's just a little chopping board, and we're going to get our bowl out and put this down. Okay, so we're getting out the dough. We're going to roll up our sleeves now. Rolled up our sleeves. We're going to get the dough out. So we're just going to get the dough out, and we're going to knead it into one big bowl.
to you can add food colouring. I'm using turquoise and teal. And to make it precise, I'm going to be using a stick to um, help me do it. So, let's unscrew it very carefully because you don't want to make any spillage. And wow, that is the colouring. It's very dark, but it definitely shows up light. So, shows up light. So then if we dip it in, so you have to be very, very, very careful about this because it, it will be very delicate because we don't want to make it a mess or we don't want too much food colouring. So just carefully dip it in and then plop it. So you can kind of see it's quite dark still. The more I mix it around, the more light turquoise teal it will turn. So I'm just kind of dabbing as you can see because I don't want it to be like too what does it say like I don't want to be too turquoisey I don't want to get my hands very messy um, they will get a little messy as you can see it's not really spreading around you just have to really grab it and mold it around so you just really kind of emphasize that you've got to knead it again. Now your hands might be a little messy and I actually happened this once when I made slime and I'll show you a photo but just wash them straight away so that the food coloring does not stay. I'm going to be making a butterfly pendant. any salt dough left over if you made a model or if you didn't make a model and you just want to keep your salt dough um, for another time you can either use some cling film or something like that or a sandwich bag just put it in something that it will not be able to have um, action to air because otherwise it will harden up and this will only work and you put it in the fridge for about five days and after five days it will probably not be very good to use. So, put it into the bag. And you can put it in the fridge to cool. Well, wasn't that a really great lesson today, Pink Stars? I hope you really enjoyed it, and I hope that if you like this, I'm probably going to do some more tutorials or some baking or how to do things. I really, really hope you enjoy this once again, and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and hit the bell so you're always notified when I have a new video. Bye, Pink Stars!